Okay, guys, here's a quick uh, Sophos XG125. We're going to swap out the drive. Um, when you go to swap the drive, you will notice that there is a small piece of uh, adhesive that holds the uh, that goes on top of the the screw that holds it in. I've already removed that, and I've already removed the screw. And uh, there's a tiny screw here. And if you were to lose yours, mine actually came. Uh, my drive came with an extra screw. And it came with a handy little screwdriver. So anyways, uh, to get it out, literally, you can see it's spring loaded. It'll pop right up at about a, I guess that's a 30 degree angle. You're just going to pull that out, uh, put that there, grab the new one. You're going to go ahead and insert that. There you go. And you can see that will be nice and uh, secure in its slot now. And then you just take the screw, put it back in, and uh, screw it down and you have successfully completed a hard drive upgrade on this device. So um, thoughts to consider, uh, to my knowledge or my research, this drive only, or this uh, memory controller on the board only supports up to 512 gigabytes. Um, so you can try a larger drive if you really wanna store a tremendous amount of log files, but um, I would stick with 512 or lower. Um, this drive was a, uh, 256 and it was uh i'm sorry 128 it was a 128 and it cost about 20 dollars. so anyways um that should get you going if you are having a uh the red light of death um on the front of the uh sophos appliance if there's a solid red light uh my research indicates that that means that the drive is failing so that's this is why i'm upgrading mine okay all right thanks for watching you guys have a good day